we painted it white, which we always do. And then I went in and I painted the sides black too. I'm gonna have to touch them up, but um, that'll save us some time. So this is really gonna be fairly simple, you guys, but I'm expecting it to be like, oh, you know, one of those moments. <laughs> So I really wanted my board to be the exact side, size of this paper, and that um, didn't happen. So I've got that. Then I've got three half inch deep pieces of sanded interior plywood that are three and a half inches square. And I'm gonna use those over here with the bees on them. I'm gonna show you what I did to those boards. I did two in advance. Okay, I'm gonna use clear liquid patina and I'm gonna do this in sections. All right, I'm gonna give this to Pam to dry so that I can sand the edges. And I'm gonna work on the next part. Two of them I did in advance, but I wanted to show you how I got that look. So I am using Gwendolyn, which is the cream color. Old 57, which is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite colors. Cake batter, beautiful buttery yellow, and a little bit of mint chip, because those are the colors that are in the paper. So I have them all blended in here. This one, I intentionally did a little different, and so this one will also be a little different. going to take one of the bees. I have a couple of them sitting here and I'm going to go right into that wet paint. So I'm going to spritz it. And I'm going to take the bee. And there's some writing on there, like botanical kind of writing. So now I'm going to want to take my brayer and make sure that this is on there good. Spritz the back of it. I'm going to dab it up. just to help with the dry time. And I'm gonna dry it. So I'm drying this to the point where it's grayed out, just like I do with the other one.
All right, so I'm spritzing this to release it. Just want to make sure that it's wet. Look how beautiful that is. It's just gorgeous. want to make sure it's nice and wet so it doesn't pull. There we go. Now I'm going to dry these. Two of the three I already have black paint around them. I still have to black paint this one. This, this one's my favorite. Some of the paint came up with the inlay and I just love the look. So here's one, two, three. I have to figure out what order I want them in and where I want to place them. Okay, first thing I'm going to do with these is I'm going to seal them with Big Tap. Okay, I need to get these sides painted black. I'm going to run my paintbrush just along the edge. I'm going to use the distressed one. I'm going to use this one right here. This is black ink. Let's get a little bit of cracking on there. permanent ink so I want to let that dry so it's roughly 16 and a half so eight and a quarter is the center so this is about centered right here and what I'm going to do is attach that one first So now I'm just going to wipe off where I added that black on the edge. Just get that to blend in. I really, I really like this. So I'm going to show you how I create that rust look. And I actually ended up doing this outside of my live. So after my live was over, I'll step back and I'll look and I'll think, well, what else does this need? So I really wanted to add aging and a rust element to the B sections. And I just quickly did another one of these just on a 3 8 inch piece of plywood that I had here. So um I used a B from Melange and the same paint method, and I'm going to show you how I created that look. So I'm using DIY paint in Prairie Gray, which is a brownish color but with a gray base, and then a color called Summer Crush, which is um, a rusty orange color. And 
What I did was I like to use this quarter inch palette knife and I get these on Amazon. I'll put the link in comments and I'll take and I'll dip it into the paint and there's on the lid of the paint, it's thicker. DIY paint is clay based. So I like it when it's um, a little thicker and I'll just take my palette knife and I'll just kind of run it along the edge. And I'll pull in a little bit as well, just to kind of make it, I'm scraping it, look like it's, you know, really been around for a hundred years or so. so I'm I just went in with that same palette knife into the Summer Crush mixed with the Prairie Gray. So I'll And then I'll take and go over the color I had originally on there. Now for this next section, I'm using just a little more of the Solid Summer Crush. And you can see that that's really a cool look. Now in this section, you know, it's pretty clean. So I'm going to take and I'm going to drag it in here. Just using what's on the back of the palette knife. And I'll run it over. Now, Because I don't, I don't want it to be like a solid color. I want it to look more natural than that and that's how i did it on all three of the pieces i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you like what you see i hope you'll subscribe to my channel and you can always ring the bell to get notified when i post new videos thank you so much